Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues today. We find ourselves in Ames, Iowa, home of the Cyclones, and this former Cyclone, Cyclone wrestler and coach, Trent Paulson. Trent, good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Good. I'm much better, having received the message from you uh, some 14 hours ago, 15 hours perhaps, that Steve Garland had extended an offer to you to join your brother on staff at the University of Virginia, and uh, you have accepted it. Uh, First of all, congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, I'm excited. It's crazy how it all worked out. It is crazy. Let's start with the U.S. Open. The conversation started there. How did it go? It went that Jordan Lean decided to follow Keith Gavin at Pitt and actually have another opening, and I'd love to have both you and Travis as my assistant. So, having the I two of you to, together is that one-two punch. Uh, you guys know how to recruit. You know how to train. Uh, this brings a Big Twelve attitude to the ACC. I think that's rather important. Not too many people are talking about that aspect of it, but you and your brother, well trained under guys like Bobby Douglas, Chris Bono, and Kale Sanderson, talk to uh, our viewers about what you and your brother, that one-two punch, TP one and TP two, bring to that UVA room. Um, I think Travis and I have our own strengths, and us combined, it's like the perfect combination. He's, he's really organized and um, does a good do- job creating training plans, and he's kind of Johnny on the spot that way. I'm a little bit more social and pride myself on being a good recruiter and building relationships with alumni. So I think if they utilize us and, and our strengths, it, it can be a, a pretty big win-win. UVA right now is the best it's ever been, even prior to your arrival. I would imagine this is adding fuel to the fire for Coach Steve Garland. Let's talk about why Steve Garland. He's an important fixture in the uh, in the ACC, has been for a while now, and he's bringing in a top 10 uh, nationally recruited, excuse me, a top 10 ranked recruiting class. Can you talk about that? Yeah, anybody in the wrestling community, you won't say, you won't hear anyone say anything negative about Steve Garland. He's just a great guy, man of character. Um, I kind of first got turned on to the recruiting classes when I was at the PA State Tournament two years ago with Keith Gavin. He was telling me as a sophomore, they already locked down Cameron Coy, who was at the time ranked in the top three at 152. And they had a ton of PA uh, studs that were kind of a pipeline to their program. And he said great things about Garland. And then fast forward to the NCAA championships this year, we went to the champions breakfast and coach Garland shared his story. And at the time he had no openings, but Travis and I kind of looked at each other and just thought that would be a great guy to work for. And uh, he's been through a lot and he's a strong uh, man of faith and he just wants to win the right way. And that'd be something cool to be a part of. And then, and, and, and we want to talk about that because he is a family guy. You and your brother have become great dads, uh, great husbands, uh, and that is a good fit in my book. Yeah, for sure. And, and I, a lot of people don't know this, but Coach Garland has a twin brother as well, so he kind of knows about the bond and how you can feed off each other. They were competitive growing up, and then they kind of went their separate paths, but he gets it. It must be difficult being a uh, a twin at least from the outside looking in, because you guys literally have been together a good majority of your life, not too far apart wherever you went, uh, but always together in heart, mind, and soul. Is that true? Yeah, it's pretty true. It's it's crazy when uh, Coach Garland mentioned the opportunity at the U.S. Open. I shared it with uh, my mom and my sisters and my family, and instantly when I told them, they just started like, crying in joy, saying that I didn't understand how hard that they had been praying for this because... It was breaking their heart, not just for Travis and I to separate, that's life, but our kids are best friends and they play together every day and and just to see them have to separate, it was just, it was causing my family a lot of anxiety, but it's it's cool that I think God had a plan and everything worked out. Heck, it was causing all of us that know you a lot of anxiety. (laughs) You never get tired of praying, but you'd hope at one point he would listen, and by golly, he did listen. Uh, Michael Batista is coming in at 174 pounds, a two-time Virginia State champ. This is one of those guys I think you and your brother are going to have perhaps the most effect on. Can you talk to us about that two-time Virginia State champ and a member of the prestige worldwide wrestling team finishing top eight at the national duels? Yeah, Coach Garland, that was one of the first names he mentioned to me. Said that the guy was kind of under the radar but had a ton of potential hometown state kid. So if you can keep him in the state, you want him to do well. And he's the right weight class, so it'll be fun to train with him and have iron sharpen iron. 
I like that kid out of Westfield, New Jersey, too. Jack Miller, another under-the-radar guy, but a place winner at the New Jersey State. And uh, also a legacy guy. He wrestled at uh, UVA, did his dad, Tom Miller. Yeah, I mean, there's a ton of studs. It's it's cool how it's it's great to have one great recruiting class, but they had back-to-back. They had Jack Mueller, NCAA semifinalist, as a true freshman, and then they back up the class this year with your Cameron Coys and the other guys they have coming in. It's just anytime you have two back-to-back great classes like that, and they're similar in age and they can feed off each other for four years, It's you're building something special and you have momentum for recruiting because people want to be a part of that. Trent Paulson, our guest of the Nike Hot Seat today. The news is out. He'll be heading to uh, be one of the great assistants now at the home of the Mighty Cavs, the Cavaliers of the University of Virginia with Coach Steve Garland. Can you describe your duties as you know them to be today? Um, It'll actually be pretty similar to what I was doing at Iowa State. I'll help with recruiting uh, on the assistant coaching side of the university, and I'll I'll also help uh, with the RTC, being a co-head coach with Travis what, and when when does ahead. the move actually take place? Travis is there full time early next week. My start date is June first. I'm going to fly out there, um, get set up with the university, and then I'm going to ride, jump in a bus, and ride down seven hours to universities with the team. Get a chance to bond with them a little bit, coach them up at universities, and then fly from universities back to Ames for a short time before the world team trials in Lincoln. Well, there's an awful lot of work to do. Of course, you and Travis both spent time in Lincoln on staff there as well, so you'll be having a little bit of a homecoming, as it were, but uh, then once you depart, it'll be off to Virginia and the ACC. Trent, we're looking forward to seeing you and, and Travis and the impact you'll have on that program and the conference. The conference continues to get stronger every single day, and they just did it again, did UVA and the hiring of Trent Paulson. Congratulations to you and your family, and uh, congratulations to Virginia. Thanks a lot, Scott. Thanks for having me on. You bet. For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper. Nike Hot Seat, very special guest, Trent Paulson. He continues his ascendancy in the sport of wrestling.